Hey Eastern Canada Key Clubbers, my name is Diana Kadi and I'm your District Secretary Treasurer. Today we'll be talking about the Membership Update Center or MUC, so to the screen we go. Membership Update Center, or MUC, is essentially a membership database. The system stores information such as club credentials, officer and advisor information, member information, and will be used in the dues paying process, all of which is then received by Key Club International. The MUC is the primary source for paying dues. Key Club members can be added and deleted from the roster, and using this information, invoices can be generated to be sent to KCI. Each September, each faculty advisor receives a confidential password. This password allows clubs to update their information and membership roster on the MUC. It is recommended that the club secretary or treasurer are the ones updating the member roster and who track who paid dues. But some clubs may prefer that the faculty advisor take on this task. Separate accounts on the MUC can be created for the club secretary and club treasurer so that the faculty advisor is not always required in order to update the MUC. To access the MUC, visit keyclub.org and select the link at the top of the page that reads Dues and Reports. It will pop up on the right-hand side and click on that. And I'll take you to a new page with another link that says Membership Update Center. Click that and it will bring you to the login page. Login credentials do not change from year to year. However, if you have a new advisor that does not understand how the process works yet, contact memberservices at kiwanis.org. They will be your primary source for login information. If you have an advisor and for some reason cannot log in, for example, if they forgot the login information, email the same address with your school name, advisor's name, and explain the situation. They will help with any issues. If you are a new club, click on the Register Reset Password option at the bottom of the screen before emailing member services. Copy DST at keyclub.ca on any emails regarding login issues to keep me updated. You should receive a login, the login information by October at the absolute latest. However, if you do not receive a password for the MUC by then, please contact me immediately. Once you have received the login password, enter the email and the password as we are doing on the screen. Enter the password. Once you are logged in, follow the instructions on each screen and complete the following, including club information, club officers, advisors, and update that information as necessary. Delete any members as necessary from the roster that are no longer a part of Key Club. There is an option to filter by graduation year and remove members who have graduated as opposed to selecting members one by one with the same graduating year. Although this is pretty straightforward, please do not delete all members and start a new registry. Add and delete or update member information as necessary. Updating the information will involve updating things such as changing emails, addresses, etc. To add new members, click on the Add New Members tab, and it will bring you to this screen. The most efficient way to add a large number of members is to click the Bulk Add Members tab, at which you can add up to 10 members at a time. Make sure that all membership information has been completed properly and double check for any typos or errors. From here, you will generate an invoice. Processing the dues payment involves either payment by credit card or check. After all members have been added, you can click on the Finance tab which will take you to the open order screen at which you will do the actual payment of dues. There are two options, to print by invoice and pay by mail, or pay by credit card or a PayPal account. It is strongly encouraged that you pay by credit card. In order for dues to be processed, International must receive payment and the roster in order to send you information. This process usually takes up to three weeks, but if you pay by check, it can take much longer and result in delays in dues reports. This means that the district will not receive notification that dues have been paid for a while. This also means that the membership cards, pins, and certificates for new members will be delayed as well. If you are paying by check or money order, please make sure that the invoice is sent with a check and a copy of the member roster. 
scan the invoice, and send it to dst at keyclub.ca before sending it to International. In case something goes wrong, we'll be able to track it. Additionally, if you pay by mail, make sure that you do not pay by a purchase order. It is not a form of payment for Key Club International and will not be accepted. A money order must be sent if not a check. The following dates are incredibly important with regard to due submissions. Note that all dates listed for due submission are received by dates. Key Club International must receive your dues by the listed date, meaning that your club should be submitting payment in advance. September 8, 2015, start collecting the 2015-2016 dues. October 15, 2015, make an invoice using the MUC and email it to the Sponsoring Kiwanis Club for 15 members. November 1, 2015 early bird dues deadline, December 1st, 2015, international dues deadline. Dues that are delinquent are delinquent after this date. You have a 60-day grace period to submit your dues before your club enters suspended status. February 1st, 2016, clubs who have not paid dues enter suspended status. This is essentially a warning. Your club is not in good standing and is not insured for service projects. Dues must be paid before ICON to be released from suspended status. July 6, 2016. Clubs who have not paid dues by international convention enter inactive status. In order to reactivate your club, the reactivation form must be filled out along with half of the chartering form. Your club will also have to pay a $100 reactivation fee in addition to the dues that have not been paid. It would be best for your club to prepare a primary invoice once you have collected dues from 15 members. Process these dues and their information immediately and send those to Key Club International so that your club is in good standing from the beginning of the year. You can send a secondary invoice later on with the bulk of your membership. As long as you have the immediate 15 members registered with International for the year, your club is in the green. All Key Club members of the Eastern Canada District must pay $13.50 USD in dues. Please ensure that your club considers the exchange rate. $7 USD goes to International and covers things such as the membership cards, pins, the International Administrative Budget, Officer and Board Budget, International Convention, Recognition and Awards, the Key Club Magazine, and Insurance. $6.50 USD go to the District and covers things such as the Administrative Budget, Office and Board Budget, Key Leader Scholarships and Recognition and Awards. Clubs may want to charge club dues which can go toward an operational budget for the year. Many Kiwanis clubs sponsor a portion of the dues, which reduces payment and makes charging club dues more of an option. Otherwise, funds for a club operating budget can be earned through fundraisers for club use. A lot of new club newcomers will ask, why do I need to pay dues to do service? Which is completely valid. But like any large international organization, Key Club has administrative costs. Dues are important because they help sponsor clubs and district projects and programs. Without dues, we could not run service initiatives such as the Eliminate Project, Trick or Treat for UNICEF, provide key leader scholarships or provide grants through the YOF and other similar projects. Dues allow us to provide international service. People who do not pay dues are welcome to attend meetings, but they should not attend service projects because part of the dues cover insurance. Paid members are covered by the Kiwanis Liability Insurance Policy. Hence, if something happens at an event, members are insured. 